I V M. For the automobile enthusiasts, we have the Rotor Mouth podcast with Sanjeev and Tushar. Now, let me explain. They aren't drivers for hire. We are, they are apparently, but only on Sundays. Sanjeev and Tushar, the Rotor Mouth podcast. New episodes out on the IVM podcast website, app, or wherever you get your podcast from. <laughs> All right, please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under 18, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over 80, why is your mom around? You're listening to Cyrus Says. Here on Cyrus Says, she's a comedian, she's an artist, she's a funny woman, she's a stand-up improv specialist. But of course, Kaniz is not here, but her friend, Anu Menon, will be here. Anu Menon, the original Lola Kutti. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows? Yes, here on Cyrus Says, I was insulted the other day, <laughs> it happens all the time, by a young man called Bhavesh, who, uh, while I was trying to talk to him, kept saying, I'm on the phone, I'm on the phone. And uh, so for five minutes, time passed, and then he left the phone on a cabinet and walked away to the toilet, or uh, to some place for about a minute, and I just looked at the phone, there was no phone call, there was nothing. He was just pretending to be on the phone, which is what a lot of people do. They pretend to be on the phone to get away from socially awkward situations. I respect that. It's called Cyrus Says. And that's what Cyrus says. But someone you will not try to avoid is Anu Menon. Now, I've known Anu since I was 46 and she was 11, <laughs> uh, when she was on Channel V as Lola Kutti. And I don't know what I was doing, monkeying around on the other channel. But The uh, better one, you mean? <laughs> the better one only in ratings, but I think that was more to, to do with distribution. I found out everything later. Do you know, people keep never saying to do with creative, Lola so from MTV and I just say yes. Look, what about me? I've been V Channel because they never got Channel V right. They yeah, never got too. Channel V right. They only said V Channel, yeah. especially up north. She'll be, I'm Juginder, I love V Channel. I watch Bakra all the time. I'm like, okay, great. So marketing, we waste how much money per year? Yeah. Sales, how much money? Oh, it's like Coke and Pepsi. That's it's on... Shall I tell you my story? It's boring. No, it's boring. no, please. Coke it's too long. Pepsi. I'll tell you later. Uh, let's talk about you, Anu Menon. <laughs> anu is short for Anuradha. I found that out just now. That's We're going right. through a graphic set of uh, introductions. Originally from Kerala. What does that mean? We know you're Malayali, but you're not, like, uh, you weren't born there. No, but I don't know why they say why that. Why do they say think... that? It's like saying originally from Iran for a Parsi. I mean, just... Correct. Ah! Oh my I God, the Coke has... Quick. See, it's, we have done the coke can felt bad because you didn't tell me the story. We have story. done something which is not allowed here. Which is what? Bring Dropping beverages. beverages. And yeah. this actually is not my fault because I'm known to be an idiot. The fault will again come on to my poor producer. How did you let him in? Well, his name is Naveen. He has real problems. Yeah, come. Well, Naveen, while you clean it up, I'll clean up the interview. Anuradha. So, Anuradha, can I call you Anuradha? Please, only my teachers did and now you. But since but you I'm are senior. probably their age. I'm, I'm correct, so correct. senior. That's I'm bigger true. than the teachers. Yeah. Uh, so, what is the original from Kerala line? What, what is the point of that? Somebody's just I did it. not put it there, it's Cyrus. A Lola Kutti image that they just push it there but for some reason. Because for the longest time, people thought that I look like that and I spoke like that. So, yeah. Pralad Kakar, I remember when I interviewed him, said, Bichari Kerala se aai hai. She lives in Matunga with her uncle. Just take her out, show her the sights of Bombay. Is Matunga more Tamil? I mean, we talk about stereotyping. I mean, please, I don't do that, okay? No, come on. It's our one stronghold. Just like Gujus have Ghatkopar. Shut get, up. In Tamil, we have enough bases for divisions. Forget going to... Uh, uh, yeah, well, you're right. Yeah. That's a different world. They have Wembley in London, yeah. so calm down. Yeah. I live in Valkeshwar. <laughs> you just broke my heart. <laughs> in fact, I'm, the proprietor of this entire pro- product lives in Valkeshwar, Mr. Amit Doshi. Okay. So every day... I'm Pedder Road. I'm not too far. You're Pedder Road? Yeah. You're a South Bombay girl. Oh, I'm so sorry. I would use my clip <laughs> accent. Why didn't you tell me in the beginning, Lola? Oh. Well, I thought I knew. Okay. Hey, the very sight oh, of me. Right, you've been to London. We'll come to that. Come on, let's go through your life quickly. So, Anu, you actually grew up here in Chennai. No, you grew up in Chennai. I grew up in Chennai. So, that's really the home. Yes. So, my parents grew up in Bombay and they moved to Chennai. Well, my parents were very quickly, what did the parents do? Advertising. My father's on the board of O&M. What are you saying? Still? Yeah. Uh, no, he retired. Oh, wow. Oh, was he yeah. in that Piyush Pandey years? Uh, yeah. just uh, So, Piyush actually gave a really nice speech at his uh, farewell. Really? Uh, with a cigar in one hand and a whiskey in another. Oh, that's said, oh, morning that's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's Piyush morning tonight. But anyway, go on. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I grew up so dad uh, in was, Sorry, sorry interrupt. Dad was uh, client servicing? Uh, uh, no, no. He, was, uh, he started off as a copywriter for 300 bucks wow. a month as a trainee. Wow. Um, Everybody's story in advertising who's yeah. successful is something like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 300 bucks, trainee, sat without yeah, a table. But yeah. same organization for 34. 35 years that's I'm unbelievable you, that's his generation it'll yeah. never happen again I, I from agree. our generation onwards I agree. Yeah. I agree also he liked to dress properly these days in advertising people just wear chutney shorts and I, go to work yeah. oh thank you but but you're right but what happened in that golden era I think 70s 80s where they wore bow ties and the things yeah, yeah. And the, he was very proper every day dad. was a different uh, yeah yeah 
these yeah. days are gone. So uh, very quickly, so he was in O and M, O and M Chennai. Uh, yeah, so he was in charge of the south. Okay. So he was in Bangalore for a while because that was a bigger office. Okay. So he used to shuttle. Mom. But, yeah. So she was in the subsidiary of O and M called Artig. Oh, they met at uh, work. No, so essentially, uh, one was O, one was M. <laughs> See, your because dad's name was Mohan, your mom is Mini, Mini but Mohan, she was yeah. men and even before marriage. So I think she just married him. What? She didn't have to change her signature. Yeah, it was Damn. one of those things. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, amazingly, they worked in the same place, but not not in, not the, in the same office. office. No. All right. Okay, let's move on. So you were born in Chennai. Now tell us about the early years of the young Anumadan. So I was an extremely quiet child, although it's so hard to believe now. Um, so I was like painfully quiet, that you know, little mouse in the hardworking mouse in the corner. And were you good um, at studies? Very good. Very good. Yeah. That, that's Unfortunately, a, no, that's that a nerd, nerd level. But because like you're very good at gross. studies, it takes you to the other side. So uncool and gross. And uh, at w- fourteen, you're not I social. No, I was, but I think I was always sarcastic. But I was just quite sarcastic. Quiet is not social. Sarcastic is the person nobody wants to be around, <laughs> especially when you're six years old. You go to the fattest kid and say, "Man, you need to eat a little more." No, <laughs> I, was, I was all right. I was uh, never too fat. <laughs> no, what do you mean? What do you mean? No, no, no. I wasn't. Were you a bully? Uh, never. Did you look never. down at all the dumbbells. No, no, I was the one getting bullied, just by the way, uh, but, but because I was so timid. Um, but you were the head of the class in terms of uh, ac- academics. No, no, only t- I was uh, like number two or number three, never number one. Sadly, okay. okay. Yeah. But you were, so that was the nerd category. Yeah. The Big Bang Theory. Three, four of you all who sat together. Yeah. And so, like bo- in college, also was I was silver co-ed? medalist. Was never. No, no. All girls Catholic school. All girls Catholic school. Yeah. Wish I yeah. was there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. So we used to like in Good Shepherd. There was another school called Church Park. Good Shepherd is such a common name. Yeah. And was it like forty thousand of them all? Across? Yeah. And all the girls I used to vie for Shepherds. Don Bosco boys. It used to be like that. Don Bosco again. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't you get no more? <laughs> it's like five names in the Jesuit yeah. world. Yeah. 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 So so so, you, so as a young girl, Anuradha Menon would preen yeah. outside the window of Good Shepherd and look at the Don Bosco boys. No, 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 no. They used to hockey. hang around a little bit. Sometimes used to come and fetch people. Their sisters, <laughs> quote <Gotcha>. unquote. How <laughs> oh, sweet good. to begin by calling them sisters. It's been the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your life, I know, you know. Really? Oh, really? God, man. These euphemisms. Suck. Hate men, I'm rather. I hate men. All right, okay, so. They're yeah, okay, some of them. Ah, All right. Yeah. Name me two. <laughs> Name me two. Okay. While Time's you're str- up. Shit. I was struggling with that. Uh, so, let's not understand school. We'll come to college also quickly. With lots to talk about. Uh, in school, did you act or anything? What was so I used to come back home and uh, you know with my mother I used to tell her all the stuff that happened in school and just really bore her to tears and she used to say, why don't you go for your school that play audition and I was like no I'm going to forget my lines I'll go on stage I'll make an ass of myself it'll be dreadful and all that so finally I think she just th- like threatened me so I'll go to your school principal so under dire like I mean this is this would be really uncool if your mother had to go <laughs> to your How old were you then? 8, 9? Uh, no I was like uh, by then I was like 12 so finally at 12 like, your mother? Uh, no I didn't because I still need my mother I'm 46 I, I didn't I didn't want to go So uh, so finally she uh, arm twisted me And I went for the audition I got the part So at 14 I made my Grand stage you debut You took two years To get the part No dude I, I, I was two years To prepare myself did she, did she say 12 She said 12 Yeah And next thing he gets the part She's but 14 I, I fobbed her off So I finally went at 14 This is in school still mm-hmm. What part was it I can't It was a, a play we wrote also So it was really Not very good But prominent no, it was just rubbish. No, my point is, did you make any name for yourself? Did you make a splash? Yeah, so it was one of those, you won Best Actress and the the teachers were like, my God, Anuradha, where have you been all these years? Yeah. We thought you were so quiet. All that shit happened. So that was your first and, taste, uh, in a sense? Yes, it was. And, and the was audience good. laughed and liked it and all that? Yes. Was it funny? Uh, for its time. Sorry. <laughs> for its or the time. other word is intentionally. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. But yeah. do you have any memory of the character? Not at all. Yeah. So it was this. Um, so at that time, girls used to play boys also, right? But I was this mother of this chick who's like really overbearing, boisterous. So you're the elderly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was it. Can't do the character, huh? No. Too far gone. Yeah. Don't worry about it. So, so let's uh, skip school now. So anything else happened in terms of drama and things like that which pushed you in this direction? No, so I just, it was, uh, I wanted to do English literature and I, because I uh, got like 89% in my 10th grade, my One second, teachers stop. were like, no, 89%, no, God. yeah, I was, it was okay. So my, my teachers were like, they just assumed that I wanted to do science. So then I've really let them like, Anuradha, you don't want to work hard anymore. I was like, no, I dissect a frog really well, but it's not what I want to do, you know, for the rest of my life. So, uh, so when I did just advanced to, English. Just uh, to clarify, it's a dead frog, so don't get upset. It's already dead, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't hurt the frog. No, never. It's like going to the morgue, getting a body and then you know, doing, having a way with it. It's different. I'm really not into frogs. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't think that if I kissed it, it would suddenly turn into a prince. I'm also not into morgues, <laughs> but I'm just saying. Right. Who knows? Um, I don't know what you do on Tuesday nights. So Tuesday uh, night, I'm asleep at dusk. <laughs> okay. 
So, uh, yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you again. No, 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 that's fine. I'm, I'm, I've prepared myself for it. Uh, so, I was uh, doing advanced English and then I did English literature in college. Mm-hmm. Because 11th and 12th in Chennai is in school. It's not in college like in Bombay. But in Bombay, it could be school or college. Yeah, but You're not mainly, paying attention. No, no, but mainly people just, you, think? you know, go what to... What do I know? <laughs> I think 10th was challenging enough. Why get beyond that? All right. Now we have to get into the, the other part of your life. You go to college and that's where you sort of bloom, is it? You start working in theatre productions? No. Yeah. Yeah, so we put up a Are these professional of, productions or the ones in college? Um, so we get professional uh, theatre directors to come and direct oh. our plays. Stuff like that. But again, we are an all-girls college, so we are playing men again. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. So my mother said, in a grey wig and a moustache, I look like my dad. <laughs> so like, Even Thanks. today? <laughs> it's been a while, you know. Okay. My husband isn't so kinky. So. So, so, so let's get into, so what, do you remember the productions at all? We did Sunshine Boys, I remember, wow. as my... Uh, Which has got no girl characters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we, made the, we made the nephew and niece. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The ones that live down or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. familiar with that. Um, again, I'm asking you this because when we talk to people like you, we try to understand, do you have any idea this is your life? That you're going to go in this direction? What are you studying at the moment? Literature? Literature. So, honestly, so I did not... You could I be a did teacher, not, writer, what? I thought I would get into advertising like my parents, honestly, ah, because that's what that, I grew up yeah. right? So, I thought that would be a natural progression of things. Nepotism. Um, Dad will make yeah. a phone call You're on the second floor That's true But by that logic Then I should have modelled But then I was a really ugly child so. What? Oh that's true oh. <laughs> So uh, I, I, I didn't mean that's true You're an ugly child I mean that's true You could have got No no that's true You, you wouldn't that. know But yeah. <laughs> I've seen pictures no, no. I, I, I find Indian women All attractive I've never They, they don't I hate Indian men Did I mention that? I hate them uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe the, the feeling is mutual. So, uh, oh, I'm sure it is. Yeah, so, men don't hug me everywhere I go. But oh, sorry. Now that you bring it up, now that you bring it up, I'm more of a male magnet. <laughs> you put me anywhere, men come and chat, not women. Oh, because I'm a geriatric magnet. Really? Old like people? Any man over 60 with a pulse what and a prostrate saying? is into me. Like, yeah. I don't know what it is. And my husband and, is. And so they mention so prostrate happy. Oh, immediately. <laughs> I know. Have you heard about my prostate? Yeah. Yeah. So when you're at the airport sitting alone, it will be these two old men who come and say, I've seen you on TV. I feel really bad for me. Like, you know, sometimes you want like the, the hot dude to come up to you and chat you up. Yeah. You know, for your own sense of self-confidence. I get the hot dude. Damn it. I always get the hot dude. The damn hot it. dudes come and talk to me. <laughs> the old men just ignore me. I don't know. Damn. Why is it? Do you think I'm you make fine. them feel better about themselves? I don't know. I'm, I'm in that middle age uh, category. Neither too old, neither too young where nobody uh. cares. Right, yeah. right. I thought that was just Anuvapal. Damn it. Okay. Uh, Anuvapal is not even human. <laughs> from what I've seen in the last few months. I, I'd go more gibbon. Have you seen gibbon? It's a primate with skinny legs uh, and a bigger upper body. This is coming from me, huh? Anuvap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, let's talk about you more. Yeah, so, we, sure. uh, you're in college and your uh, Sunshine Boys in good professional productions. Yeah, so... My mum actually said If it's something you really want to pursue I think you should do it Did people talk about you? I mean that's the main thing The feedback Did people say Wow this girl is good This girl is Yeah Those things happened a little bit I did, So I, I worked with the Madras players When I graduated Which yeah. was like the oldest uh, Theatre group uh, in India It was started when, you know, Since uh, When the British were actually Before uh, Hence the name Madras Yeah <laughs> That was really in trouble Yeah, yeah. 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 Huh. Um, And my mum said If it's something you want to do You should pursue it So I applied to drama school um, On a lark And you went to London To LSD uh, No it says London I didn't School of Drama. do LSD either. Oh. Uh, no, it was called East 15 Acting School. Actually, it was the East End okay, of London. Hello, yeah. Nakutiji. This is I, I could have got LSD written. Can we just make uh, it LSD anyway for the interview? Uh, no, they might think this is a druggy thing. It's not. You, you think people don't remember LSD, the drama school? There are many drama schools, yeah, Cyrus. Okay, they fine. all can't so be London it's School it's of any, Drama. Any e East 15. East 15. Yeah, right. acting school. So what was that like? Uh, Who paid best for that? two years of my life. You pay for yourself? So I got a part scholarship and then uh, Mohan Menon chipped in. With the rest Really? Yeah You mean dad? Yes Wow <laughs> <laughs> I was like oh I'm an only child You know He's like oh poor thing She's a chick Let her do it <laughs> Okay come on now Tell us about those two years We suddenly go from sheltered Chennai yeah. Where you got everything Car driver etc etc And suddenly yeah. you're in uh, London on your own London That's right yes yeah. Yes So no it was it was great I think best two years of my life You're also surrounded um, By like minded mad hatters Right So yeah. you're climbing imaginary And young mountains people with dreams and That's true Not And people like me Correct You know you're, you're Whose dreams are over Bright eyed and bushy tail <laughs> <laughs> I don't look at those tales In London they can arrest you For that kind of thing You be careful yeah. eh, No No uh, Had a good time Lola Only who was banned And labour <laughs> Carry on uh, So look, I yeah. know it's a difficult thing To come, talk about in five minutes But I'm just trying to understand You come from Chennai You go there No culture shock for you at all No I had travelled before Cyrus I travelled no, to America No what I mean is now you're on your own You're on your own Away yeah, from yeah. parents Family, friends, support yeah, yeah All that Yeah No 
was okay, but I was 21 by then, so it's not like I was, you know, some spring chicken. I think, uh, yeah, we must all learn to live alone. So, and, you uh, please feel free to tell us about the romances and things like that. What happened there? No, I was really uncool and Why? not very. What's wrong attractive. with you, Lola? Yeah, I, I don't know. 21 on your own in London, City of Dreams, Melting Pot. There was a brief. Uh, 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 there were men, right? No, there was this one South American from the Dominican Republic. And everybody no, liked Latino him. Latino men are very hot. You're telling me. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's terrible. The stereotype is all true. <laughs> yeah. huh. And with the accent and? and with the moves and everything. Yeah. And also, the only person in drama school who sang worse than I did. So I was so pleased. What, uh, South American who can't sing? That's yeah. odd. Yeah, because but he made up with his dancing. Okay. Because I used to go to ballet class. What, and miss, what miss, could you do? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> so, so Miss Trudy would be like, Anu, stop sitting in your hips. I was like, shut up, I did Bardhan Nadia. We're used to sitting in our hips. Uh. Bloody hell. So what um, happened to Mr. South America? So Mrs. I was very, it was just, but then he was making out with every girl in, you know, school. So I was like, damn it, I won't be special. Um, so you so said yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you got to introduce me to your parents. I was like, no, dude. <laughs> I so not. nothing happened? Oh yeah, not really. Oh, well, so what about theatre? What did you do? So I got an agent after drama. The, the thing is this, I don't look quintessentially uh, British-Asian. So like, I would be up for parts that, you know, for like uh, Hispanics or Hispanic or Middle Eastern people so uh, so although I would go because they have this very particular British Asian look straight hair dusky you know silver eyeshadow so um, and my agent said Anu I just want to tell you I think you'll always just do posh roles you can't play a village belle can you I was like oh, why not I can play it's called acting he's like no Hugh Grant darling made a, ca- made a career just doing posh I was like damn it I'm the female Hugh from India now That's this is what good. it's come to come on <laughs> so, yeah, so then, um, but I was, I, I never wanted to stay on in London because I'm an only child, so I always had this, you know, I'll go back home. I'm one and a half Were hours. you staying on your own or were you staying with a group of people? Uh, no, I stayed with friends. Yeah, from drama school, yeah. And we stayed in Pride, like in Bethnal Green towards the end. It was a really rough part of, you know, people pissing outside our doors and stuff. So back, back home in India. <laughs> when you're pissing home, you just go back to yeah, this restaurant. Like Bengali newspapers there coming go, yeah. out of the door. People and shouting was, loudly at yeah, each other. And, and so my blonde friends would be like, Anu, you, you must be feeling at home. I was like, dude, it's in Bengali. It's like, these are Bangladeshi newspapers. That, no, I don't do Bengali. <laughs> God, they're so racist, don't they? know? Yeah. we've had so many wars to remove yeah. people from our country. I mean, country. I speak Indian. Shut up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even speak Indian, but I live here. Huh. Yeah. All right. So uh, two years of drama. Any any professional work came out of it in London? No, I didn't uh, stay on uh, that long. I came back and uh, because also to stay on uh, with a visa, like you wouldn't get a visa. With Brexit around the corner. You were worried. Uh, no, this no, was fifteen years ago. Yeah, yeah, stop it, stop it. So don't correct me. I think we have to take a quick break and then we'll come back uh, because we have to talk about Lola Kutti, the uh, uh, shaping oh, of your career. Yes. How much money you earned in the last uh, six to eight years, and do you pay GST or not? All this and much more with Lola Kutti when you come back after the break because Naveen, our producer, just walked out. Over 47% of online users in India have experienced harassment at some point. So if it's two of us inside this recording studio, chances are pretty high that one of us has faced abuse at some point. How do we tackle this? What do we need to do better? Come, let's learn together. Join me on Akanksha Against Harassment at IVM Podcast every Thursday. Let's learn how to make online a safe place together. All right, here with Anu Menon, actress, theatre artist, comedian, London Return. And of course, somewhere in Mumbai, when she comes back to India, she gets a role in Divya Palit's The Verdict. Yes. Okay, so you're back and what do you want to do? So I have, uh, <laughs> I believe that I can, uh, because theatre is a focal point of my life. I said, oh, I'll get a television job that will fund my theatre habit. And I want to be part of a play that travels the Your world. Your parents want you to come back? Uh, no, they my want mom to marry was a Malayali like, boy. No, my, not at all. My mom was like, stay on, and I was like, no, no, I think I'll As come back. As specifically, don't marry a Malayali boy. <laughs> no, they they didn't say anything. Don't marry a boy. <laughs> they didn't say anything. Don't marry. <laughs> <laughs> I had creepy uncles sort of like patting oh, me on the back. Oh, Lola, no. stop it! Come on, <laughs> really? Yeah. The South American guy was so nice. He was. When you think he, about he it, he was. But did Just he have a visa? Did he? <laughs> I don't know. India, come on. Mexicans are allowed. <laughs> 
as far as I know. All right. So you're back in India and uh, you meet Divya. How does it? What did you do? So what Divya and I are related, actually. What? Yeah, huh. yeah. Is she, yeah. From, is she from some royal family of? Uh, yes, Kerala? her father. Uh, yeah. Is related. So I'm. So when I came to Bombay, I met her, and then she was doing her first play. She, so I went for an audition. Hmm. So I did that, and I was also in a Ninas Kodaiji play. Hmm. Um. So and then I'd met a few people in television and radio. So I was told, oh, given you know stuff that you're interested in, being a woman, I don't mean to be sexist, Anu, but you can marry money. And then you can do what you want, <laughs> because none of what you're you interested in. You met some very interesting people. Yeah, yeah, none of these things are interested in our money-making propositions. Hmm. Uh, then I was told that I was too fat uh, to be in films. Were you fat? Producer. I was like much large. Like in England, I used to breathe and put on weight and all. I was wow. like quite large. Breathe as in B R E E D? No, B R E A T H. Yes. So yeah. Are yeah. you dyslexic? Sorry? No, I'm just stupid. Yeah. Okay. And with the <laughs> Harvey Weinstein in the background, I should be a little careful of what I say and to whom. Yeah. Sorry. Go but on. I don't want a job, and this isn't a hotel. I room. can't give you a job. <laughs> I'm like a social <laughs> Socialist artist. I'm a leftist. I can give you nothing. I can't give you a joke. Come on, back, back, back. Uh, so, uh, which is a uh, play which uh, people sort of saw and then got you into this Lola Kutti sort of? No, not at all. So I, I something. met I met uh, Amar Dev from Channel V. Who was there? He said, "Okay, you're mad and cracked. Come and hang with us." So I said, "Sure." Met means what? Met uh, socially. He didn't see you. No, perform. no. So I, I was uh, put in touch with uh, like a few heads of. Uh, channels and um, they said you know you you see where you you will fit so since I, anyway i was did told you come i to was MTV? Too, uh, i did i met cyrus oshidar what are you saying yeah he oh. he rejected me did he um yeah but cyrus was not the hire he was promos uh, natasha was the hi- person who hired I, I was i just met Okay. I don't know the hierarchy then, but I just you know you know that uh, swinging door that he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. So yeah. On back and hit uh, your face. In fact, uh, two of his PAs got in, got injured, now banging their heads through it because it looked very <laughs> transparent. Yeah, it's very sad. Um, yeah. yeah, so I did an audition channel. We Gaurav Kapoor was there, and he told Amar, "Listen, I think you should check this girl out." Uh, He's just being like a someone. randy uh, daily boy. No, he's too skinny and diabetic for that. So <laughs> that's so unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. Poor guy. You're the one who insulted him. I, Randy <laughs> Daly boy is all an insult. It's a type. Oh, but it's fact. Poor diabetic <laughs> boy. That's terrible. <laughs> So um, yeah, so I, I I don't think they knew what to do with me, and I just and I wasn't Did you do cut accents? out. Yeah, and I wasn't cut out to be a cool VJ, you know, and I say yo check it out, coming up next and stuff. So I just Is thought it would be fun. I'm sure they did at the time. <laughs> Let's fast forward to Nikhil Chinappa. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and uh, so I just thought it'd be fun to be a character, you know, someone that you wouldn't expect to see on a hip. So they didn't channel. tell you what to do. They just said no. talk. No, they were just like, oh, right, script, just hang with us. Like, I wasn't doing anything. I was just, you know, sort of hanging <laughs> with the promos you department. You was suspicious? <laughs> so, Five Bengali men with hairy chest telling you to just hang around? No, no, no. It was very multicultural. There's one Bengali, one Haryanvi, one Maharashtra. That convinced one you. Punjabi. I was <laughs> that like, convinced oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> For the peace of the nation. Yeah. yeah. And then they were all like, you can't be South Indian. You're not black. You don't have buck teeth. Oh. So all that started. Huh. They're not like, Parsi che. I was like, no, Parsi no che. <laughs> Malayali che. But, <laughs> but you're so fair. So all that started. I love Stereotypes. Yeah, it's beautiful it's that great. people who run the it's media great. are so filled with stereotypes. It's damn good. Nothing like a good <laughs> dose of racism early in the morning to yeah. get you a cup of joe. Yeah. yeah, like every time like Rahul Dravid or VVS Lakshman dropped a catch yeah. and all, like a oh, bloody South Indians because you yeah, know, of course, yeah, I have yeah. some telepathic connection yeah. with butterfingers. Yeah. yeah. Is this true? <laughs> no. I just made it up. Okay, get get back to Amar Dev, is it? So who hires you? Come on, let's get into Lola. Yeah, so Amar hired me. So then I, I just in one Eureka moment, I just thought of this character. Oh, this is your, uh, you, you devise the character? Yeah. So I went up to them and said, oh, maybe she and can. And the name? Um, yeah, Lola, because I just, at that time, this whole run, Lola, run. You think of Lola, oh. you think of someone exotic and, you know, yeah. cool. And, run, and, Lola. Yeah. Let's do the Malayali so, action. Run, Lola. Can you teach me? Run, Lola. Run, Lola. Run. Yeah. <laughs> I ran all around the legal cinema club because I'm should, running as a promo. You should be the face of Standard Chartered. I, I would, I would, this is a campaign I would watch. Shit, yeah. Your, your head peeping what a great out. Idea. And you're all getting that line. Run. Lola, yeah. run. Damn it. And, 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 and an ethnic outfit, you know, sort of crossing the 40s. It's called a sari, not an ethnic outfit, Cyrus. I, I don't want to upset What's anyone. What's wrong with you? I'm a South Bombay person, I told you. You apologize <laughs> to me in the nonsense. beginning. Your are Pedro and Malwa Hill. We got no saris. What's wrong with you? I love saris. I love saris. I can do saris. I can't, take them, I can't take them off. And yeah. when I say off, I mean Kunal, my friend who wears them on our show. Right. So right. it's not easy because you have to return it. It's always on Bada. How long have you too. known Kunal, by the way? Oh, too long. 1990, we drank. Do you knew, you knew him before you knew your wife? The one I'm... Yeah, Aisha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 90, I met Kunal in 1990 okay. uh, when he came for an audition and he was the worst person in the play. Uh, uh, for a kid's pantomime, by, by the way. I mean, how do you F that up? It's not Hamlet from any angle. Right. Uh, he had to just spit and cough and, you know, shout and things right. like that. 
whatever. Yeah. So yeah, nine hundred two. Why are you reminding me? I'm depressed now, and so I don't drink. Sweet. Oh, it's terrible. Oh. Let's get back to your life. Yeah. So Lola Kutti, this is why we're here. Let's talk about Lola. My God. So you devised is, the character. Yes. Uh, so I said, this is the character. What do you guys but, think? Sorry, but you've yeah. done it already in the audition, sort of. No, I didn't do oh, this. It's character. completely new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So um, I just thought it, but then of course there was a, a great deal of trepidation. I mean, you know, <laughs> we're a cool music channel, and now you're having this bespectacled Gajra thing. But they have, that, they have that. Um, what was that guy called? The Haryanvi guy. Yeah, character. but those were all characters. Those were interstitials, right? They just okay. came and they went. Here yeah. we're looking at a show Proper format. VJ. Okay. Uh, will that make sense? So, so what's the uh, that VJ's name? Uh, uh, Manoj Manish. Yeah, that one. Uh, so, Manish. So he wasn't a proper ne, Makija. So he, was, he wasn't a proper VJ. Uh, he was an interstational. Interstitional. He was yeah, an interstitial. Like, it is like uh, Quick Gun Murugan, right? Yeah. So they were these fun, film. like Auntie Three Not Three. So they that were all like great a, characters. Huge promo. Yeah. I was in that film also briefly. But you, of course, were a separate VJ playing this character. Yes. For the first time, I don't think anybody else did that. A yeah, so it was a big VG. risk. A it was a big VG. risk. Yeah, that they yeah. took. I don't okay. think they expected. Like I've gone for channel V parties, but, but and they're like, "Madam, please don't say, come in." I, I think Lola Kuti character was also pretty. It wasn't like she was unpretty. She was. She was odd really and not very pretty, Cyrus. Well, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm a bit weird, but I yeah. thought she was okay. Yeah, it's quite yeah. kinky of you, but I wouldn't say kinky. Kinky is pushing it. I would just say that this is my perspective. Okay then. Awkward so, pose. Not uh, happy. No one's ever complimented <laughs> the lady in her life. You know what to do? Huh? No, I tell you what happens with a character that looks like that. Yeah. Um, where like male guests, like if I was a hot VJ and they said something uh, like remotely like flirty, it would come through as sleazy. But when you do that with Lola, it just comes you comes through as cutesy, right? Yeah. Like Lola, why don't you? I have a spare bedroom in my house. Why don't you come over? Like stuff like that. A or, like, spare bedroom me means like, what? Yeah, you, you can sleep stay, separately. You can stay anytime. No, you that's want. a terrible. Like, come on, I'm a spare bedroom is what? I'm giving you a place to stay. Oh my you gotta god You got to say I have a bedroom With no one living in it Please okay. come and You know stay Or am I lying Has that worked for you Cyrus? No I've always said <laughs> yeah. I, I've always said Can I have a bath with you And this is before Weinstein of course Now I don't say Those kind of things now, I, I thought this was before Aisha <laughs> <laughs> Aisha and I bathe separately We've been married many years Lola Kutiji If you must know <laughs> We don't even share the soap <laughs> You should never share The never soap share Cyrus the soap. Oh. Like I said, I like you know I will love you, but I can never share my loofah with you. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. With who? The Yeah, yeah. Okay, can't. We got to get all that in. Yeah. So uh, now you're in um, you're on Channel V. Yes. And uh, what is the reaction? And and by the way, just tell us what the show was initially, the first one. So first, I was a music video review auntie. Mm-hmm. So I used to review music videos, and then uh, music videos are like, no, she can't do this oh. <laughs> because she's trashing our videos. Huh. So then I moved on to uh, a talk show format where I would uh, interview Bollywood uh, celebrities. So that was that. So in uh, how did in, that go? Uh, very well. Like initially, though, I wouldn't come out of character. So it used to be kind of like you know we know some of them didn't know I was a character. Some of them knew, and come they were on, like, really? you know, this is yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's stupid. Uh, yeah. This is the real VJ. Oh, oh, maybe they just thought I was that convincing, Mr. Yeah. Brocha. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so this went on. So but but as a result, because like I didn't look like I belonged at like uh, cool parties. Like I've been stopped at Channel V parties from entering. They were By like, the "Madam, you got the yeah yeah." Mm. The bouncers like, "Ma'am, you got the wrong place," and you know. <laughs> Why would they stop you? They stop uh, us, the men. They never stop the women. Who do pee us taraf hai? Ridiculous! You're just making it up. I know that's not true. Not at all. It's um, true. Impossible. And I know Channel V used to keep their VJs as watchmen outside anyway half yeah, the time. Yeah. So I don't know what you're saying. But uh, so what happens after that? Then this Lola Kuti became very strong. The character and everybody are, wherever you go, they say Lola Kuti. Lola Kuti, it's one of those. Um, like I've been on stage as Sarojini Naidu and really serious Gandhi play and all. Hey, look, Lola Ji has stage play and all of that happens. Uh, I think because of that, to this day, I've never got an item number offer, which has really upset me. So let's quickly, okay, th- that was fantastic. I made a name for yourself and all that. But let's just fast forward now because you're doing improv, you're doing stand up. What are you doing? Exactly? I don't do improv anymore, but I do a lot more improv stand up now. Improv used to do with my good friend Kani. Yes. Right? Uh, no, no, we never used to do improv together, but she used to do it in a separate group. Nice to do it with Veer Das. And Ashwin Mishra and, and that I'm like But she used to tell us She's travelling with Anu To Bangalore to do a show and No all we were doing a sketch show together We wrote a oh. two woman sketch show Called Rin Cycle How did that so, go? Uh, no, I, went, I, I thought it was like Pretty darn decent for You know Two people who have never Really written sketch before I thought it was okay Okay let's say that Our performance makes up For our lack of writing skills <laughs> okay. I have no idea what you're saying But I'll come and watch the show If you do it again Now So you Just tell us what Anu Menon is doing today now So I have my first solo special Which is coming out uh, Feb 11th right. uh, Do you do anything here? Called Wonder just... Menon Okay So uh, Yeah So it's my first I, I'm supposed to be writing Stand up show? This, yes 
Yes. Oh, uh, in the proscenium, we can get, come and buy tickets and see it. Uh, yes, I don't know. I, I don't have a Bombay date yet because I'm opening in Chennai, then Bangalore, then oh. Hyderabad, oh. and but I will announce when. So when? Just Bombay. give us a date again. Feb 11th in Chennai. Feb, Feb 11th in Chennai. Yes. Any other dates? Uh, and Feb 18th in Bangalore. And Feb 18th in Bangalore. Repeat yeah. that. Feb 11th Chennai. Feb 18th in Bangalore. We've got Lola Kotti's first solo uh, stand up. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, straight up, just her. Nobody else. Nobody else. Okay, but I, if I'm there, I'll drop in for five minutes. <laughs> you must. I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just spoil it. I, I mean, it's okay, a, say, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have a joke. Just want to say hi. That's right. It's a woman yeah. comedian. <laughs> oh, and now in Chennai, there's a vacuum. Is it? Oh, oops. Okay, let's move on. All right. Now, quickly tell us about the personal life. So, you married uh, a gentleman who went to sea. Uh, yes, he's a vegetarian marine engineer Gujarati who eats vegetables. You've told me nothing which is interesting. Uh, but he's six two and three quarter. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah. Everything in proportion. He's uh, used to. They, it's true what they say about yeah. tall men. I feel. What, um, what do they say? Uh, since you know, I'm not tall, I uh, don't even know. Big feet. Oh, <laughs> is that so? Uh, Let's dwell on that for five minutes, Miss <laughs> <laughs> Sexist, <laughs> Reverse Sexist. <laughs> yeah. Reverse. Uh, so he's used to, I he's, don't know. <laughs> he's always used to being the tallest like guy in the room anywhere. So I get really happy. The other day we went a few days ago. We went to a party and there was a guy who's six foot five so Anirudh was like my god <laughs> let's what leave <laughs> let's go I'm not used to this let's go to the bar <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. he's like I'm still the tallest vegetarian baby <laughs> but, but how do you meet odd couple uh, no so uh, his first cousin is Aditya Hitkari Who's oh, married to right, my right, right. cousin Divya? Divya. Palak's husband, who used to work on MTV as a VJ for a yes, year or so. Yes, yes. I've travelled with him. Oh, really? Lovely guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but very clean. He's very, very, very So difficult to room with. Yeah, quite, quite pristine. Yeah, um, a bit too pristine now that you bring it up. If you want to dwell on that subject, a little too posh for my taste. Too posh? Too posh. Too, too posh, Malabar Hill? See, I'm basically a caveman living in Mumbai, <laughs> so for me it's like a dichotomy, you know. Honestly, if you ask Saukar or Chinnabha who have reamed, reamed. No. <laughs> the most excited man <laughs> is Naveen. <laughs> And we know why mm. Roomed mm. with me You right. know that I'm a caveman <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty unhygienic But why have they roomed with you? Don't you get separate uh, We used to have no budgets MTV told us they had no money Right till the time I left Because they were paying you so much <laughs> I think so Yeah <laughs> <laughs> They were paying my dad directly Because I had no idea <laughs> Right Yeah so we used to room I don't know if they gave you That kind of deal in Channel V But we used to room uh, We had to double no, up No I needed space for my wigs and shit <laughs> well, I had to double up And finally I chose Saukar Because he's the only person Who's as dirty as me The rest were just unbelievable They don't say that yeah. There are too many clean men in. You know, the, the, I don't get along with I think with cleanliness clean is important. No, no. Yeah. You can't have your hair in place all the time. You know? I mean, who does that? Like my husband for the longest time said, no, it's unmanly to get a pedicure. And then finally he caved. Yeah. It's unmanly to get a pedicure. <laughs> Anirudh, if you're listening, it's unmanly to get a manicure. You don't do these things. You bite your nails. And you scratch your toenail. And he's like, don't tell anyone about it. Oops. No. <laughs> Secrets out. Anirudh likes his pedicure. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's up next? Uh, other than the stand-up, anything else? Uh, no, I'm a five-year-old musical? kid, yeah. So then, like that keeps me busy. So I mean, to find humor also in this madness, right? And I'm part of many mothers' WhatsApp groups. It's oh highly God. frustrating. Tell us about that. What what's going Dude, on in our world? I don't know. Pick up groups, drop uh, groups, like carom so, group, so chess many group. Groups. What the f- I don't know Like building mothers group Park mothers group Do you even like, remember Who they are sometimes I don't know what Who says what In what group And they send you a thumbs up With a picture of a, a dog Peeing on a tree Or something And we're like Yay No they send you Some evangelical shit About you know Parenting oh, that's different. That's And all different. the stuff That they do for their children yeah. and, and you know They're really virtuous That's the virtuous. preachy WhatsApp group No they're really virtuous yeah. You know Bhopla recipes And I, I can't do all or this Or a two line kahavat About how beautiful the world is Yeah and For children If, we, for if children, we do the right things yeah. You have yeah. to be the this, teacher This when, guide, when your son Has spat on your face Or something I think Exact same point. I don't. He never spat on my face. Spat please, on my face. <laughs> never. I thought, I thought that, that's just a Malayali thing. I thought you painted him. Hi, hey, <laughs> beta, come in. Poor <coughs> smack. We All don't, right. Tuko. <laughs> All right, so we're coming back with the AMAs. This is Anu Menon signing out from here. But coming back in a minute with the AMAs. Ask me anything. Oh. That's going to be fun. Okay then. This was crap. Yeah, that's fun. So. Okay. Tired of the shrill madness of primetime television? Can't make sense of your morning newspaper anymore? Then take a break to delve into some real conversations about policy, politics and economics. Join me, Pavan Srinath. And me, Hamsani Hariharan. As we analyze news and views from India and the world and talk to experts on a wide range of issues on the Pragati Podcast. Episodes out every fortnight. You can find us on the IBM Podcast app or wherever else you get your podcasts from. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail.com.
All right, EMA is Anu is still with us and we are joined by Naveen. So that's uh, two and a half comedians. Yeah. Who's the half? I'm the half. Okay. Uh, first question is, do you follow women's cricket and what about tennis? Lavanya asks. Uh, I follow tennis a lot. I follow women's cricket. I actually watching the women's big bash. But let Anu take the question. Do you follow women's tennis? Tennis is my first love. I have really? to say, I'm yeah. a Rafael Nadal fan. Yeah. Uh, I have stopped talking to people because we have gotten to like nearly fifty cups over this whole Federer Nadal yeah. thing. Hmm. I have bawled my guts out every time he's lost. Like that Australian Open final, though, like devastated, devastated. But can so, a thirty-six-year-old win Grand Slams without uh, help from anabolics or some sort of blood thinner? Uh, Thirty-one. Uh, no, I'm Federer I'm is thirty-six. No, no, he's lovely. He's yeah. he's supreme. Uh, hmm. Uh, doesn't mean I can't ball uh, mm. when Nadal uh, loses. So uh, yeah, so tennis was my first love. I played actually uh, I, I know, district I level, oh, and then oh, I was. Oh, you good. want to boast? Okay. No, 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 no. I was never <laughs> very good. I had a this shit. This is a nice story, you know. Rich people know, in Chennai play tennis. Come on, come on. I love tennis. From Vijay Amritraj onwards. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. Are you good? He's a family friend. He's good. Uh, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah. So what is Big Bash about? The big ba- you moron. <laughs> no, I heard <laughs> big bash is the premier T20 tournament. Oh, nice. some people say IPL, but I think it's the big bash, and it's a fantastic Australian uh, concept. Okay, and, and they, they the women's cricket and the men's cricket is always parallel. Hmm. You know, there's no stepmotherly treatment. They really push there. They do push you, better. Do you like Kevin Peterson? Are you a Kevin Peterson fan? <sighs> Not particularly. Not particularly. No. no? Okay. Uh, he's a bit of an oddball. And you know, he's, a, he's a guy with no country, no name. You know, after some time, you you don't know what he's what he's about. Uh, Why do you have a thing? No country for Kevin Peterson. Yeah. Okay, mm. okay, okay. He's cute though. No, but yeah. come back to tennis. Like I was going to talk about yeah. women's tennis for a second. Venus yeah. Williams crashing uh, as we record this. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sloan, Sloan Stevens, Stevens out. Uh, yeah. Top of the line in terms yeah. of form and all that. Yeah. So this Aussie Open, of course, by the time people will <laughs> know the result, by the time they hear this, <laughs> but it looks like it's going to uh, turn on its head in a sense, and all kinds of people are going to turn up quarterfinals onwards. Okay, sure. Good we'll just tennis. see. We'll just see, see what Djokovic romance, there, does. There's a romance huh? that you talk about of the three old men coming back and dominating, of which course. they have. Yeah. And to some extent, Andy Murray is injured. We won't call him old. Yeah. But the three: Djokovic, uh, Nadal, and Federer. Right. But in the female, in the women's section, with Serena delivering blah blah blue, Venus definitely on her way out. And um, some of the Russian stars disappearing also. Right. There's like a whole new generation that's coming up now. You know, we've been saying this whole like new generation. Now it's now now, now, now the okay, Williams honestly, are going. The Williams on, are going. Fine, but I can't keep up with all these Eastern Europe. Players, honestly, like, the names I can't, are too long. Yeah, no, yeah. and they're so similar. Yeah. I don't know, and, and they're all I don't, I don't know, like yeah. flash in the pants, like. Yeah, win, like when win Anna, one Grand Slam and disappear for a second. When Anna Ivanovic won the French Open, you thought, yeah. oh, this is like the next best thing, and then, then now she's happened? a pop singer. Yeah, in Miami, <laughs> <laughs> what could be worse than that? Yeah, cool. Next one is. Uh, if Article T seven seven is taken off, would you be interested in marrying Kunal Vijaykar? Abhinav asks. Oh, see, I'm very pro-gay, but I'm not gay. I can't help it. I wish I was because I seem to have no trouble meeting men. Uh, but it's a little sad that, that people think that poor Gunal is gay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, he's just ugly. He's I mean, not, there's yeah. no reason to think he's gay. Right. Yeah. But, but my but point is, why very, should you marry him? But, you can but, still be. But, but I know I'll tell you. It's a matter of consent. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the problem is that I'm... And not coercion. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit lady crazy. Okay? Right. I've, I've controlled myself in the last couple of years. But once in a while, it comes out like with the intern that day. Right. So uh, I'm She's quite... I'm she quite, works here. Well, not for long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite what, 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 is, I feel what, Kunal, what do you do? What do you do? Sorry, it's like, what I think is about women a lot. I, 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 I think about women a lot. Like, turn about... Turn, I do nothing. Give me an, what is, what I, is like, the I, charm factor? I can factor. talk about. No, I, right. I try not to engage you know, for the... You know, if, if by mistake some woman says yes or is interested in talking back, you know. Right. So I try not to engage. But I do think about women a lot. Huh. And I feel bad for Kunal because I find some of the men in my age group and above, they seem to dwindle in that sense. You know, their interest in women seems to dwindle. Whether it's testosterone count going down or what, I don't know. Right. But I feel he's moved towards food completely. I mean, Wasn't he a, always into food? No, we yeah. used to talk about chicks while driving. He banged a car once. Marine Drive, full four roads were empty and he, uh, four lanes were empty. Wasn't the chick available? No, there's a woman, nice looking woman walking in the, you know, the on car. the left and he uh. smacked the car. So those, oh, I thought there was a nice looking woman and he still banged the car. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and mayor stress banged the car. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. So what do you think? Eventually, will he just be asexual all his life or what? I don't think he's asexual. I think the desire is less. Mm. Uh, in my personal case, uh, I don't know. I think marriage is very difficult. Okay, so now you're just like running out of people who you can, you know, be a chauvinist with, basically. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> how, how many years have you been I, I may have to join the RSS and start all over again. <laughs> how many years have you been married? Married? Yeah. Uh, oops. Uh, you shouldn't think 17, so long. 17. 17. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Good. Now, you? Nine. 
Only nine? Yeah. Oh, you're okay. Seventeen <laughs> is a long time. Plus, he's on ship a lot, so you know. Oh, that's fine. Uh, that's in, fine. In that's land a great marriage. In Super. land years, how do you know? You love each other. I can tell. <laughs> what is land years? You keep quiet. <laughs> you're not even from our group. I did you the merchant navy guy. Okay, I know. Really? Yeah. Was his name Anirudh? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> because no, he likes no. to. He likes to do what's yeah. called pedicures. That's true. Isn't pedicure a bit effect? No, you, you have think? to keep your nails nails clean. I don't do it, but like I just assume that those. What, like do, what, do, what, do, what do you say, gay or straight? For I'd manicure, say manicure. Mo- metropolitan. Metrosexual, you mean? Yeah, yeah metro metrosexuals <laughs> live in the metropolitan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, metropolitan, this polished homosexual activist, my foot. Yeah, so that's next, why you can't marry him. Next, next, next. Next one. The last one uh, is a big question. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually living this right now as I'm writing this to you. Why do people in a bus or a plane push back their reclining seats all oh. the way with no respect oh. to the person behind them? You're right. Oh, yeah. shit. There should be a law against yeah. that. He's right. I hate that. Why do they do that? I have no idea. And when, when you're eating, you know, I mean, in the middle of your meal, is it a pack something? And you never do a, like a check, no key, I'm coming no, back here. Never. Like, never. Ready for this. this for me, it's to do with Indians. Yeah. No, but we I don't, don't think... understand about other people. The civic conscious. Consciousness has never been part. We're nice people. Just don't get to the other people, you know. So you never think about other people. Well, I'm sorry, but this doesn't irritate me as much as people who uh, don't see lines at airports. Yeah. Like and especially like like I feel like if you're over fifty, you just feel like you're entitled. And what like, are the guys who just goes to the front and starts talking? <laughs> why, why does he do that? No, like I, a mouse. No, like old aunties always dhakka maru me just going in ahead. So once I stopped her and I said, "Ma'am, there's a line," and she said, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I just went ahead because I thought you worked in the airline." It still doesn't justify. But what were you wearing? Exactly. Butchel with sarcasm for no reason. They and there's an article which said like you know where the f- are these guys going all so in the first place like if you even exit the plane where will you go on the tarmac and run yeah. like an idiot? Yeah, it's but it's so annoying it's because we live in such overpopulated areas. It's like you open the box and we jump out. Yeah. So the moment they say okay we're boarding, ah, yeah. all the Indians have gone. But the French guy is standing there waiting for number twenty two E, yeah. number twenty three yeah. E. But it's like also we, the we sense also of like claustrophobia as well as to be set free at the same time. It's this weird <laughs> yeah. personality that we have. Yeah, and also that sense of personal space. Yeah, like, yeah. Even, like you know when someone has chipcoat your so, ass so, and so, I'm like just because you're so, a woman doesn't make me more comfortable exactly. about so his it. his point is the same thing yeah. which is personal space. Yeah, he's sitting yeah. in the plane he's paid for all yeah. bus. Why do you have to touch his seat? Yeah. Do yeah. whatever you want to but leave his seat yeah. alone. He also yeah. writes like why do I have to smell your terrible almond hair <laughs> when you like lean be- behind now that's being personal That's quite open. specific huh? yeah. See, That's true yeah. so Almond oil like, like He may have a nut oh allergy And you know These things yeah, are Definitely true. dangerous <laughs> People have died Of nut allergies As far as I know Thankfully so, it's yeah. not Peanut oil I'm just saying Peanut <laughs> Yeah Oops Okay right, So I what can... do we do With these people Nothing We just Give them a tuply When they Get onto another bus <laughs> Just get onto another bus As fast as possible I start blowing hair into people's hair. What you know? did you say? I just start blowing hair oh, okay, into people's heads it. when they come. The show is good, getting out of control. <laughs> Mine is a very vegetarian show. Let's leave it here. Anu, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And we'll see you at Feb 11th in Chennai and Feb 18th in Bangalore. Thank you so much. Stand up show called Wonder Menon. Wonder Menon. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. If you have any questions, write to us online, and uh, you can mail us as well. We will answer. We have a doctor in the house called me. And that's what Cyrus says. As you can see, we have a podcast listener in his natural habitat. Billions of years of evolution have led him to this point. He's on his way to work and listening to podcasts makes his miserable day better. He will now head to work and use all his knowledge to communicate with other colleagues and possibly future mates. You can find more of his species on ivmpodcasts.com. Your one-stop destination where you can check out all the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.